Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a colour grading tutorial. Now I've had lots of questions and requests from you guys to edit like the artist Alex Costa. Um, now I've just had a look through his page and I thought what would be interesting is to go ahead and just download a couple of photos. So if you want to follow along, go on to We Saturate um, and you can find the uh, photos on there. Um, but the idea is I'm just going to choose a photo and we're going to see if we can get it to look fairly similar. So we've got a choice between this one and this one here. Um, now I think they should both kind of work okay. The reason I think the first one will kind of probably be easiest is because of the greens in the photo, for example, here, uh, and the lighting is fairly similar. So we're going to start off with that photo, I think. Um, but the best part about this tutorial is I haven't actually practiced this yet. So we're going to see if we can do it just first go and kind of work through it together. Um, now, if you want to work out how to do more advanced editing in Lightroom, you can go ahead and check out our free tutorial down below. We've made an awesome long tutorial. We go into some serious advanced stuff, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, the link is down below. Um, you can also go ahead and check out our presets as well if you want to get those as well. So without any further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look. I think the best thing to do here is de uh, drop those highlights, bring back some detail in the sky like here in this photo and here. Um, then we're going to lift up the shadows just to make it a bit brighter. He doesn't have much contrast in his photos. His photos tend to be fairly flat. Um, that being said, I am going to boost the whites ever so slightly and drop the blacks a tiny bit just to give it a little bit more depth, but I don't want to go too much. Um, now he has fairly hazy images, so I'm thinking of adding a little bit of haze by dragging the dehaze slider to the left. Um, then the next thing I've noticed about his photos is they are trying to work out if they're warm or cold, to be honest. Um, they're definitely incredibly desaturated, which makes it hard to see what the overall sort of temperature of it is, but I think it's a little bit cooler, ever so slightly. Um, I'm going to get rid of the purples and the image a tiny bit, but I think the main thing here is he works with the split toning. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the clarity just to make it a little bit softer, and then we're going to boost the vibrance just to keep some of that colour in the image and then drop that saturation pretty low, so about minus 25, just to take out some of that initial colour. Okay, so moving on, uh, let's have a look at, I want to choose an image that's got a fair bit of green in it, so this one here we'll just have a look at. So we're going to come back to the tone curve at the end, so if you're interested to see what that is, wait until the end. Um, also, if you guys do enjoy this video, just click the like button and comment down below if you want to see any more videos like this really helps us out and kind of giving us ideas of what to film. So let's work on the greens. Now if I go to the right you see it makes the greens very sort of, I don't know, bluey green. If I go to the left it makes them orange. Now his greens, I think what we're going to do is take those greens to the right because we're going to get, we're aiming for that colour there really overall for all the greens including this kid's shirt. Um, now I think we're going to leave oranges and reds alone, the skin tones, otherwise we're going to really change the skin tones too much and it's going to look a little bit strange. Um, as for the yellows, take those to the right a bit as well, because if I go to the left it kind of takes out the um, uh, green in the greens and makes them more brown. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to leave the hues alone for a second and now I'm going to work on the saturation. So first things first, we're going to drop the saturation in those greens. We're trying to aim for this colour here, so sort of a smoky green. I think we're getting pretty close to the green right now. The yellows, um, I w the reason I dragged it up there, I just thought it might give a bit more colour contrast, colour depth, but realistically, I think he drops those as well. He has a very similar edit to short stash, or at least base edit, um, where everything is just incredibly desaturated. Um, like this photo here is a good one to base it off, although I think it's going to start playing a video. Um, now as for the reds and oranges, we're going to just desaturate those a bit. The blues, I'm going to just increase the aquas and drop the blues. Um, and then purples and magentas we can just leave alone. Uh, luminance, I'm going to brighten up those greens ever so slightly, or actually the yellows. Um, maybe darken the greens or brighten the greens and drop the yellows. Trying to give it a little bit more contrast uh, in there if I can. He has fairly light greens in the background, like if you look at them, well, not light, but um, bright. Um, so that's what we're going to do there. Now, I think we're getting pretty close to the overall colour grade. You can see it's very simple colour grade. Um, next, we're going to do is just brighten up the oranges and reds. There's not really that much in the image, but it might sort of bring out some detail down here. 
and on the kids in the foreground. Then I'm going to brighten up the blues and the aquas just to kind of really highlight these guys at the front. Um, if I were to drop the blues, you'll see the sky. I can see a lot more detail, detail in the sky. Um, I'm trying to decide whether that's the way to go because in some of his ones, like you can see very bright highlights, but in other ones, like up here, you can see a lot of detail in the sky. Um, I think the image looks better with darker blues, so we're going to brighten up the aquas, we're going to drop those blues, not too much, so it looks weird like that, just a tiny bit so we can see a little bit more detail in the sky. So if I press the backslash, that's the before and the after. Now, just so you know, I haven't done this edit before, I think we're getting pretty close to those overall colours. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just have a look at their shirt. So we've got sort of blues and purples. So I want to see what he does with his blues and purples. Here, mostly keeps those colours, so he doesn't really desaturate them too much. Um, I actually might put in a little bit more blue, um, and I think we probably don't want to have any teal in the image. I'd take it back a little bit. Um, yeah, take out the teal. I don't really want much teal in the image. And I think that's basically it for the HSL. It's very, very slight curves. Okay, now we're going to move on to these uh, split toning. This is going to be the interesting part because um, this is where we're going to really work out what colors he has in his highlights and shadows. So the way I like to do this is choose a photo with a lot of dynamic range. So here, if we look at the highlights on his shirt and then we look at the shadows, we're trying to work out what colors he's got. Now, I think he's got sort of oranges in his shadows. So we're going to drag, I'm pressing Alt on the keyboard now and I'm just sort of choosing a color. So 21 I think is looking like a a good starting point. Um, yeah, let's go for like 24 and then boost the saturation a bit. We're just going to warm up a little bit more. Uh, that's probably a bit too much. You can see we're kind of getting those browner colors there. Now, I think I've probably gone a little bit too overboard on that. Let's get rid of that. Um, maybe we'll put that on like four. Very subtle. We just want a small amount. We can always come back and change the greens later on. As for the highlights, I think he's got sort of pinky blues in his highlights. Um, best way to tell is look here. If you look on his shirt, the reason I'm saying pinks is it looks ever so slightly mauve on his shirt, slightly pink. Um, so we're going to have a go, see what it looks like. So press Alt on our keyboard. I'm going to drag this ladder along and just see what colors we think stand out. So either that or we're going to go for like a sort of pinky blue, like up here, purple sort of color. Put that in a tiny bit, about saturation of two or three, not very much. Um, I think we're probably getting fairly close to the overall color grade. Something missing, it's just too brown, I think, for my liking, so it might actually just be blues or greens he's got in those highlights. Let's have a look. Again, I'm just doing this the first time, so I've not actually tried this colorway before. And this is the way I do it. I just sort of flick between the two and I try and see which works best. So here, he's definitely got a lot more blues in the image, and I think this is probably the one to go off. Um, so we might actually try putting in some blues in the shadows to see how that affects the image. Yeah, to be honest, I think we're going to leave that as it was. Um, boost the saturation in the highlights, we're going to put a little bit more blue in there and I think we're going to leave the split toning as it is for that one. So what we're looking at now is the greens, I'm going to come back up to where's the HSL, the HSL, we're going to put a little bit more saturation in the greens, we're then going to drag the greens to the right a little bit more, I think we might actually put in a slight bit more aqua, desaturate the greens again, I think that's slightly better. Okay, uh, we're then going to come down to camera calibration. I'm going to work on this green primary slider here because I'm having trouble getting this sort of purpley bluey greens. And what I've noticed actually in this image is using purples in his shadows. If you look here, so he sort of chooses different ones, which makes me think we should come back to the split toning and choose the shadows as a purple and just see how that affects the overall image. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Okay, so sorry for jumping around so much there, but it really kind of is trial and error for the first time when you're trying this out. So this is just to give you an idea of the process I go through. Then we're going to work on the greens now. So if I drag the green primary to the right, we're getting more of those bluey sort of tealy greens. If I drag it to the left, we're getting a lot more natural green. And I think 
realistically he's got more of those tealy greens in his image. We can then boost the saturation in the greens, but I think we're going to leave it a little bit desaturated, minus 5 will do nicely. Okay, I think he's also got a tiny bit of teal and orange in the photo, just a very small amount. Um, and I might just be going overboard on the colour grading at this point. Let's put that on about plus 5. Turn off the camera calibration, turn it back on again. I think we've got those greens basically nailed now. These ones are a bit darker in this image, but if you come up to like here, uh, if you look at the here, all those basically desaturated, um, especially here, we're getting a much similar sort of green going on in our images. So I'm going to uh, synchronize, well, I'm going to come on to library now. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is come on to develop. I'm going to sync this color grade that we've done onto the other photo. I'm going to see how it looks when we come onto it. So that's the before and the after with that color grade. We're definitely getting there. We're definitely getting that desaturated look. Um, in this one, I think what we're going to want to do is actually boost those whites a bit and really give it a little bit more depth. Drop the blacks, maybe brighten up a little bit more. Slightly more bluer, but not by much. And I reckon that's about it, to be honest. I don't want to spend too much time on this color grade. Now, the idea of this was to show you roughly how I work through it and get it going. The best thing to do is make it very desaturated, drop the vibrance, drop those saturations. And in fact, I'm going to come onto the tone curve now. I'm going to sort of boost those highlights a little bit. Drop the blacks ever so slightly more. The mid-tones probably take those down a bit. Um, it looks like it's got a bit of fade in the image, so I'm going to try and take that out by doing that. Now, with this color grade, everything seems to be incredibly subtle, but I hope that kind of brought your attention to how you would kind of color grade like this. So we've gone from this to that. Now, it's a very subtle color grade, but it does make quite a bit of difference. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want any ideas for um, new videos, just drop them in the comments below. And also don't forget to go ahead and check out our great new uh, advanced editing tutorial. It's all 100% free, so go ahead and click the link down below. We've been working on that for a while now.